Welcome to Insurrection Field in Brain Washington BS, home of the Cadavers. Wait a second, Brain Washington changed the name again? First it was the Deadskins, then the football team, and now they're called what again? You dope, now they're called the Cadavers. Wow, well, what's the name gonna be next season? Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Diami Krakens battle. The Brain Washington Cadavers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Ugh. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. He is automatic. Nice kick. All right, just get the points. Let's move on. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. Oh! He's going berserk! The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he is dead. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant beast. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback calls a 
Sonic Blast, Dirty Trick, and throws it. Super Sonic, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. He had it for a second there. Third down and the punter is warming up. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in a quarterback. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And this guy is on fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Third down and six. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the other half and save him for later. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. We've got a nail-biter at the end of one. First down and one. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. The defense falls to that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Third down and five. And, he's lit. and that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. First down and six. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Four. Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you see saw. A saw you never saw. saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. Heavy metal in the background. You should know I don't back down. When it's gold time, I waste no time. Tell them don't cut the cord. And they just get Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Pick up for six yards. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch.
second down and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. I didn't want the bad to receive it like that. He could get hurt. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. And we're at the two-minute warning. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that pass is good for about five yards. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Third and four. Drop him. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it's seen. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. under two minutes the chess game has begun it's like chess only you can kill people and it's first and ten man what a hit that was they stopped the clock but they only have one timeout left ah, that's okay Grim. they can have nine that's uh that's nice bricks but our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Well, 
When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, man? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go to a strip show, where we going? Hey, why don't you sell down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grin? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. the ball get the first down and don't die see it's really a simple game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten he's not just burning down the house he's taking it to the house Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. First and eight to go. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second and three. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! It shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down and forever. This guy's going to get. 
get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. You know, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And then Cats will give them a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? Oh, is it that one? Oh, that one over there. Now, just follow the screams, Bricks. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. Thanks, Quentin. I we get out Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Is this one of those new good-at-running quarterbacks I keep hearing about? Doesn't seem like it. Now, well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expect. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he picks up about six on the play. Third down and long. a lot of balls in the past and there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty the ref appears to be cheating he's just making shit up <laughs> third down in the offense offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery down and never gonna happen no he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball what a pick ahead get the ball asshole and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is in time grim that cross stitching unbelievable he's got the ball now let's see what he does with it and how about a little dirt sandwich? Yeah. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and seven. 
Chains moving. That was beautiful. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Looks like a pass. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and, well, good luck. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. for every yard catch the ball get the first down and don't die see it's really a simple game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten Second down and a lot. Anyone in the mood for Newton Tartar? The defense is on its heels. Great run on that play. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Third down and six. Oh, man, I love that. You hear the sounds of bone snapping like that, Grim? You assume the worst. I assume that it was even worse than what you may have assumed. I assume you're right. Yeah. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Young 
onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third and two. for a first down. And it's first and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning them up now. Hot potato gets them every time. First and eight to go. Nice run for five yards. Second and three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I uh, tap off my drink. What did I do with that? Second down and two. Well, the Lincoln quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> the ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. Yeah, that sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And he picks up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married... And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's, well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. 
but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. In the background, you should know I'll back down. When it's go time, I waste no time saying go to the club. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Glenn. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, look at this guy break. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fit. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? Clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount that quarterback tips on dinner. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. You've got to catch that. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage. And that's a catch for three yards. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. Uh, 
No coup today. The cadavers hold back the insurrection and come away victorious. It was a brutal battle of attrition, but they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field. Yeah, and giving the ref a few bucks didn't hurt their cause either. Well, it hurt my cause. I had a sawbuck on this fucking game. The game's most valuable player is about to speak. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.